Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would do a August favourites. I think I missed out on July favourites because I don't actually know where the time has gone and I actually can't believe it's the end of August, which is incredible and just so insane. So I don't know when you're going to be watching this. I'm filming this before Ibiza. So I thought before I go away I would do a, an August favourites of what I've been absolutely loving this uh, this August because I've just been loving really cute things as well as the things that I have picked out which are my absolute favourites are just actually really accessories. I have a couple of items of clothing but more so I'm obsessed with the accessories I have received and purchased over the last month and have just been drawn to and just get so many compliments about them so yeah so I thought I'd get into that and yeah so the items I have chosen for my favorites are probably more products I'm going to say and accessories I have maybe three yeah I have some I have three items of clothing that I have been loving but more is with accessories jewelry um eyewear that I have been obsessed with so yeah so let's get into it first off I thought I would start with clothing as this is maybe a smaller title of items in my favorites so first off I want to share the Storette skirts and I think they've been a humongous vibe this summer and do you know what I actually purchased the white one in sorry my camera's gonna go really weird so I purchased the white one three years ago and I am so glad I did three years ago or two years ago and I'm so glad I did and I saw it on one of my favourite bloggers called Negan Mezzarali, I think that's how you say her name, and I was obsessed. I just, when I go to Spain, where my nan lives, I always want a really nice white flowy skirt. And I had one from Hollister and it was my absolute favourite. I wore it for maybe five years and I still wore it when it was grotty and my mum was like you cannot wear that anymore and I was like but it's my favourite skirt so I was on the massive hunt to find a white skirt and probably a week before I was going away N Negan posted this skirt and I was like I, I have to have this and I was so in luck to find out I think it was around £40 but if you're going to buy from Storex I would advise buying a couple of things or pairing with someone because the shipment is quite expensive it's around 16 pounds I want to say to be shipped to the UK so yeah make sure that if it is something you definitely want or get more things or pair with someone who wants something else from Storex because the prices on Storex are quite reasonable for what they are so I really love the brand um, and I'm really happy with these skirts so I have them I guess they're scorts so I have it in, I've just ordered it in black and I have it in white. I'm the size small to medium. This, they usually say don't um, wash them in the washing machine, but I do. Um, I just find it so much easier. I'm just going to turn the white one in so you can see that more. It might be a little bit dirty because I wore it yesterday, but I wanted to show you in my favourites video. So they're this really nice pleated skirt, really nice and flowy. It's got this really nice like detail at the top and then these these aren't actually supposed to be like they don't do anything but they just make it look pretty and I'll just, and I'll post some pictures here post some pictures here of me in my favorite skirt and yeah no I've seen a lot more girls on Instagram and a lot of my friends getting it now because they're just so easy and especially for summer when you don't really know what to wear and you don't really want to wear skirts so these like you don't really know what to wear so even pairing this with a little cute jumper would be so cute so really good for those transitional seasons and summer so yeah so no 100% would recommend this and I have been wearing it non-stop I wore it non-stop in Bali and non-stop in the UK and I'm gonna probably wear this a lot in Spain Ibiza and I just can't wait so yeah so this is probably one of my absolute favorite pieces that um absolute favorite pieces I have been using over August 2019 next up is this dress this is a ASOS dress it's a maxi dress and it is under the name grunge floral I believe I will leave some pictures here of me wearing it and I will leave all the links down below so if you are interested I did see it in stock I think the other day because um, I wore it the other day and posted it and someone asked about it so it is definitely still in stock and do you know what I have been absolutely loving maxi dresses over the summertime in England because 
when I go up to work to London for work because I live in Brighton I really struggle with what to wear because the weather is just so up in the air it's either cold it's either hot you never know what to wear do I bring a jacket you just no, have no idea so I just put on I just threw on a maxi dress I think I have five now um, and I do have the black and white famous Zara one the polka dot one that everyone wears um, but honestly I think this is my favorite one because it's so different Oh, it's inside out. Oh well. Really nice ribbed, um, in ribbed bit in the waist, so it cinches you in. Nice button detailing, and has some really nice um, ribbon or lace hanging down from the arms and the neckline. Love the colour. I just think this is such an insane piece to transition you in from summer to autumn to spring to winter. You could wear this and put you could wear this with some boots and chuck some tights on underneath with a really nice leather jacket. I just think this dress will go anywhere and no, I'm really glad I kept this dress because I love it and yeah. I've been wearing this like non-stop, so if you see me wear this, I'm really sorry. But yeah, I no, really enjoyed this and think this is a definite winner for August 2019. Next up are some trainers. I'm actually just, <laughs> I'm just tying them up to make them look a little bit more presentable. Um, but as everyone knows about the ugly, chunky trainer hype, I am definitely on that bandwagon. However, I've just never, never brought myself to actually buying the trainers because I can't digest the idea of actually spending £600 on trainers because I know me and I will ruin them. Doesn't matter how much money they are, I will ruin them. Um, so I thought I would get a new pair of trainers which I came across and I was like, Oh my god, I literally, I wasn't even planning to get these or planning to get new trainers. I was very happy with my Veja, Veja, Vega, these trainers. Um, but yeah, no, I really love a chunky trainer and I really missed my Nike Air Force ones. So yeah, I went random shopping with my boyfriend and came across these and was like, oh, I need to try these and it took me a minute to try put them on and buy them because I literally was like, I need these in my life and I'm so glad I got these because they're just they're so gorgeous so here they are <laughs> um, these are the Adidas and I want to say the design is called Supercore really love these I have actually had people come up to me asking if they are Balenciagas um, really comfy and also me and my photographer think they look like do you remember if anyone did dancing those like jazz shoes where they had the big gap in the middle so you can do loads of pointing and flexing your feet but I really love these been wearing them non-stop just find them so comfy so trendy and I, I just love them I just think they're so cool um, and they were only £110 so this was my favourite shoe of the month and probably will be until the end of when I ruin them because it's very likely I will. But they're in good shape so far, I think I just need to clean them. I really like the material, they're not easily dirtified but yeah no so 100% recommend these. So next up is a pair of sunglasses, oh my god these are very kindly gifted to me. So I've been working with a company called Sunglass Shop and they kindly gave me a pair of sunglasses in a collaboration for sharing some social media content. Um, and I went for this very, 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 very dreamy pair of sunglasses from Chloe. I am a huge Chloe fan. Can't tell you enough. Honestly, I just love the aesthetics. I love the story behind Chloe. I just love the style. I just love it all. And I actually am considering treating myself to a Chloe bag for my birthday. And a little like pat on the shoulder that it's been like over a year since I've been full time with Instagram and like social media. And also a year since cancer. So any excuse so these pair of sunglasses here they are oh look how bougie they are they are insane I will leave the name down below I actually can't remember what they are called but I just they are actually a little bit dirty I apologize this is why I shouldn't have anything designer or expensive because I am such a messy pup. These are the sunglasses. 
I'm going away to Spain on Friday and I cannot wait to wear these away because I just think they're just so bougie and I just think they're just so champagne sundae, Ibiza, like that very like that luxe kind of style so I'm really excited to take these away. Love the colour of them, I love this like ombre golden brown, I like the hex, is it hexagon? Yeah this hexagon, <laughs> this hexagon shape and then it's got this embossed dented um pattern all the way all the way around i think you can see like if i you see that yeah look at that i don't know how you'd explain that like cut edge don't know but i just love them so much and i just think they're so gorgeous i think they came to 290 pounds but i'm sure you'll be able to get them for cheaper at the airport at duty free but i will leave the link for the sunglass shop we'll leave the link to them down below i just think they're so gorgeous and just so chic i just love them very cool so yeah really happy with those and I have been very obsessed with wearing them. My boyfriend calls these my diva sunglasses, which I'm very okay with being a diva in my Chloe glasses. So yeah, no, a huge thank you to Sunglass Shop for gifting me these pair of sunglasses. I am absolutely obsessed and cannot wait to wear them and take more photos of them. So next up, I'm gonna go into skincare because these are things I have been trialing out for the last couple of months and if you already know I went to I went to the Grove Hotel on a press trip with Ispa and it's a brand that I've actually been introduced to after I came back to Bali. They got in contact with me to try out the products and I was very happy to because I've heard so many insane reviews about Ispa and their aesthetics of being like this really relaxing, calming um style of brand and style of product so I was really excited to see what it was like so I tried them out and honestly I genuinely feel like I've been to a spa when I put my moisturizer on it is the best feeling and my favorite thing to do at night it literally calms me down so much the, the smells and just everything and I got to learn quite a lot about all the products and all the ingredients that they use in their range of products and it was just so so fascinating so yeah I want to share with you one of my favorite favorite products that I have used from Eastbar and I'm excited to try more but I just wanted to share this one because it goes well with another favorite of mine so this is their Eastbar optimal skin pro cleanser and it is a three in one product the exfoliating ingredients what else does it have you can leave on for a mask and also I use it to clean my face so I wear I use this every day and honestly I just I just love it so much. I'm just gonna check if I can see what ingredients are in it. Um, I just love this so much and I've just seen such a difference in my skin already. It's just incredible and I just love the after effect of using this product. So using this product will take me on to my other favorite product I've been loving this August, which is the Foreo Luna Play Facial Silicone Brush, which I am obsessed with. I know these are quite dear in price um, and I was kind of gifted this brush so I understand completely if it's not in everyone's if it's not in everyone's budget however I with you guys this product because I've been loving it and I have seen a huge difference especially after coming back from the gym so when you go to the gym for example this is how I noticed it um this is how I discovered Foreo is because they shared the the pros the 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 benefits of washing your face after the gym because obviously you're releasing all the dirt and sweat out of your pores and then after a shower you don't really clean it properly unless you do a proper proper scrub so it's really good to have one of these in your skincare routine in the pulse and it's like you press this button at the back can you hear that woo um, and basically with the my cleanser I just really exfoliate it so it vibrates um, the dirt out of your pores so it unclogs your skin and just gets rid of all that crap under your skin and it also brightens it, it helps with anti-aging as well because it's flowing 
it's getting the blood back into your like the areas of your face so you're just zhuzhed up and especially in the morning I feel like I'm really puffy so I love using this so that it kind of calms down my skin so yes I'd 100% recommend one of these as well I really love it so I've been loving this to remove my makeup and I've seen such a difference with my skin so very very happy gal very happy. Moving on to skincare, I thought I would share share with you my favourite tinted moisturiser, which is from Clarins. This is their self tan and instant gel, and I am obsessed. I did actually purchase the wrong one, so either one I'm still very happy with. One of them's this cream, and one of them is a gel. This is just really easy to use, and I think it was £18. I'll leave it down below again. I have to admit, I'm so bad at fake tanning and quite lazy with it. So I just want something which is really easy, really simple, I'm not scared about it leaving marks on my hands, I'm not scared about it leaving like random patches on me. This is just insane, it's just so easy, after the shower I just smother it all over my body, wash my hands and good to go and it comes off really nicely and doesn't leave all those patchy marks when you've had a, a tan on for too long. So no, so I'd really recommend this. This is really nice, it smells amazing, gives you that really instant glow. I think I put this on, I've got it on now, but I think I put it on like maybe four or five days ago. So it's still good and it kind of looks like natural. And I'm not a tan, tanned girl. I have a bit of olive skin, but meh. But you know, yeah, so I really love this. This is one of my absolute favourites. So yeah, I'll leave it down below. Next up is lips. Oh, these are my favourite lipsticks. So I got this one at the beginning of the month and I've just received this. And two stories behind both. This reminds me of my mum so much. The, not actual colour, but the Clarins lipstick. The actual one, but the Clarins lipstick. I just love it. The little sponge, such a good applicator. Just a really nice neutral product and just really easy to use. So this is in the shade 19, but yeah, just num number 19, I just really love the colour, I just think it's just perfect, for the perfect colour I love, and it's just a little bit darker than my normal, my normal natural lips. The next one is from Charlotte Tilbury, and I'm sure everyone knows about this one, this is the Pillow Talk, and I do have the lip liner, however I'm not the biggest fan of the lip liner because I don't think it does actually much to my lips. I struggle to see the product on my lips, however I received the Pillow Talk lipstick at my friend's event the other day, they kindly gifted the Charlotte Tilbury lipstick to me and I love it, it's just such, such a beautiful colour and it's just so elegant, it's such an insane product and I just love the look of it and I just love the texture of it, it's really creamy. It's like, but it doesn't smudge and it's really hydrating, it doesn't dry out your lips. So yeah, so really happy with this lipstick. These are my go-to favourite lip products, I take these everywhere with me. They both complement each other as well, so yeah, no, really happy with these. Oh yeah, next up, <laughs> I'm wearing it, I couldn't find it, I didn't know where it was. So next up is nails. So recently I did post on my Instagram and IGTV of myself and my nail lady, Beth, I will leave her Instagram down below, she's like insane at nails. Um, we did a little collaboration of like a really nice arty um, nail video and I designed my nails and I'm just so obsessed with them. We wanted to do a really cool arty nail design but I was a bit nervous about going too over the top, sorry I'm really losing my voice. And with Ibiza in mind and Summer in mind and especially inspired by my ring from SBP which I'm going to come up to next, these nails are, are, I'm obsessed. So I've gone for, look at them, I went for a pink marble base and then we designed each finger, if I can, each finger has different embellishment on. So we have some stars, we have some moons, we have like a north star. I just think, sorry, I got a bit of nail glue on that one, which is really annoying. But oh, I just love them so much, and everyone's obsessed with them. I literally, so am I. Like, I just can't. These are just like so incredible, so obsessed with them. They're just so elegant, but like has that twist of like art. Because I always get scared about doing nail art. But no, really happy with these, and really happy with the outcome. So these are my favourite nails. I think 
ever. So, no, yeah, these had to come into my August favourites because just look at them. I feel like that video of that girl when she like gets her nails done and she's like, did you know I got my nails done? Next up, because of nails, I am going to go on to jewellery. I have been absolutely loving my jewellery and just want more. I'm going to go through the main things that I'm absolutely obsessed with. First off, these are my rings from Monica Veneda. So these have a little bit of story behind them. So this is my first year of cancer and then my second year of cancer. Um, both like cancer free, not years of cancer, but so first year of cancer free and this is my second year of cancer free. So no, these really mean a lot to me and I really love the design of them. I just think they're really cool. And also I love mixing the metal of them. I think that's really nice as well. And to complement it, I've gone with my SVP Moonstone ring, which is a rainbow stone with a gold plated moon in the middle. It's like really nice, big and chunky. And I just think it's so cool. SVP specialise in doing adjustable rings which is just such a good idea because I always go online to look up rings and they go what size are you and you're just like how how do I know so SVP do do that well where it they come in one size and you can adjust it yourself the next one is actually from Aurelia or Aurelia which is so pretty and I just received the other day and it goes really well with my um, my nails of course and then it's got these really nice the signature ring and I've put, been able to put it on my thumb and it's got these really nice stars on it. On my other hand I'm wearing my other SVP ring which is this really nice um, I guess a signature ring again and has these really nice pink and red toned gems in them and then just my Brighton thumb ring. Brighton ring I got down the lanes with one of my best friends Molly we both got matching fun ones and yeah so that's just like a really good one to have so next up I would say my earrings so I think I'm gonna come a little bit closer okay so I have brought you a tiny bit closer because I wanted to show you my earrings so I have been loving my created ear just so much so I want to go down in order where they're from so I've got this twisted one called Ant from Anya High Aurelia, this like chain mail who which is really lovely. This cuff is from Aurelia as well. And then these two purple stone rings are also from Aurelia and these is from Anya High. So I love these. I just think they're really subtle, really good for holiday as well. That's what I had in mind and I just think they're just stunning. I just think that's really nice, really elegant, really simple and I guess because I have too many I have quite a lot of piercings you don't want to overdo it so this is really nice for um for I guess anywhere but I had in mind Ibiza and Spain just like a really nice subtle gold collection on my neck I have an Anya High choker like choker necklace a Monica Veneda moons rainbow again a rainbow moonstone and then also a my daisy necklace which I wear all the time and then this really nice coin necklace from Anya High, which I think is really sweet as well. Yeah, so yeah, that's my, all my favourite items from August 2019. I really hope you enjoyed that and thank you guys so much for watching. I will leave all the products I have said down below. So if you are interested in looking at them, buying at them, then just pop down and check them out. If you haven't already, I would love to see you again. So please subscribe and like this video. It really supports my channel and it just shows that if you like this, then I'll just keep going on. But yeah, so thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you next time.